Elizabeth Arden cream. This one's wife, the dumplings of virtue. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. You became acquainted with the bananas of empowerment when this one's wife took a sharpie to various bananas to then hand to sex workers with supposed inspirational comments such as you matter, you are loved, you are strong. A condescending and ridiculous act by, of course, the Empress of Woke, the Queen of Virtue Signalling, demonstrating once again that she has no emotional empathy by engaging in such an act which she thinks is cute and loving. Even Harry suffered an eye-roll strain in the background when she did this. But lo and behold, the bananas of empowerment came into being. Thereafter, we were graced with the chickens of authenticity. Yes, by triangulating the world with the rescue chickens and also handily creating a compound where Harry could be sent when he'd been a naughty boy, this one's wife decided that her authenticity could be demonstrated by the fact that she had some chickens. Now, there is a third member of this stable of ridiculousness. They are the dumplings of virtue. No, we're not talking about this one's wife's fun pillows, but rather, as a consequence of the continuing publicity blitz that she's engaging in, as she attempts to convince the world that she isn't a gold-digging narcissist who says hateful things about people's families, particularly when they are dying, but rather that she is kind, compassionate, empathic, and should be given yet another chance to reinvent herself, and with it, lots of money. Mark Duell reports in the Mail. A video has emerged of this one's wife cooking traditional Afghan food with a group of 15 women who resettled in the United States from Afghanistan. Rumours that they kept asking, when's Harry getting here, while sharpening a knife, remain unconfirmed. The Duchess of Sussex created the Welcome Project in 2023 as part of her facade management, I beg your pardon, as part of her work with the Archwell Foundation, dedicating one hour a week, which she set up together with Prince Harry. Archwell previously revealed how this one's wife had joined the Southern California Welcome Project for an evening of cooking and storytelling on February the 10th. One could well imagine how that would go with this one's wife turning up to say, I'm just going to season these dumplings. And she produces the salt and pepper, which, of course, is meant to be her and Harry, because they always move together, although he hasn't been seen around as much with her, bar Whistler. And then she starts to tell some stories. So this, I said to George over dinner, when are you going to get me in one of your movies? And George laughed and said to her gritted teeth, never going to fucking happen, you loser. And no doubt she'd be regaling the nodding Afghan ladies with tales of her daring do and brilliant fridge magnet platitudes, what lorks they all had. The mail continues by explaining, now a clip has been posted on the Archwell Foundation website of the visit, which shows the Duchess wearing an apron branded with her organisation's name. So stunning, so brave. This one's wife, <clears throat> 42, was filmed joining the group of women cooking traditional Afghan food, including a shack and mantu, which are both types of dumpling. Yes, the dumplings of virtue have thus been conceived. It comes just Days after the Duchess appeared in London via video link to open a new wing of an animal charity. 
She cooks. She open wings. She likes animals. Is there no end to this angel of mercy's talents? And the remote charity appearance came shortly after Prince Harry was reported to have expressed an interest in returning to the royal fold in order to help his father, King Charles III, while the monarch is treated for cancer. The monarch's response to that was, stupid boy. An Archwell press release on this one's wife's welcome project visit said the women then discussed their personal stories and the support they find from this intergenerational group of women. Oh, right. What I should imagine actually happened was that the Afghan women thought, Christ almighty, she can talk, can't she? She can talk the hind legs of a donkey. And they said, do we have to pose for yet more photographs with her? Okay. And as she went on and on and on about sitting in your authenticity and fondling the dumplings of virtue, they basically suffered severe eye roll strain. The visit was in partnership with Mina's List, an organization based in New York, which has worked with women activists and political leaders in Afghanistan since 2014, and now this one's wife. Archwell said that in 2021, Mina's list helped evacuate and resettle over 2,000 Afghan women and families through independent coalition efforts after their husbands had been shot by Harry. Mina's list and Archwell then joined forces to provide community and support to these remarkable women as they began to rebuild their lives in the US. This one's wife is said to have been inspired Inspired to set up the project following her work with the Hub Community Kitchen in West London in 2017, which was organised by a group of survivors from the Grenfell Tower fire, which this one's wife then hijacked and then gave the death stare to her mother when she deigned to interrupt her at one of the events. Archwell states that the project was launched to create a safe haven and inclusive environment for women who have recently resettled in the United States from Afghanistan after their husbands had been shot by Harry. It adds that the project has a belief in the project on the power of connection and a goal of uplifting communities and supports the creation of programming for women who have recently resettled from Afghanistan. Evidently, through the dumplings of virtue. There are said to be 11 active welcome projects across the United States designed to foster a sense of belonging through activities including sewing, art, hiking, swimming, photography, storytelling, and dumplings of virtue. Archwell also says, by facilitating women-based programming, No Boys Allowed, the Welcome Project also brings access to critical resources and opportunities that not only supports the women participated in the Welcome Project, but also improves the lives of those around them, their families and their communities by consuming dumplings of virtue. Well, there we are. Her blitzkrieg approach continues. Gurning on the slopes at Whistler. Out for dinner with Buble. Serenaded by Buble. Appearing by video link in London. Out for dinner with her fashion designer, perhaps to talk about a range of children's clothing. Out with somebody involved in Oprah's network, ensuring, of course, that we get to see unremarkable woman going out for lunch and then dinner. And now she has created the dumplings of virtue as she turns up, releasing a video showing her doing some cooking with the Afghan ladies. It's relentless as she attempts to persuade everybody that she ought to be readmitted into the royal family and some quasi role. Notice it's no coincidence that at a time when the king has to row back his activities and the Princess of Wales is convalescing, this one's wife seeks to fill the gap with her own pseudo-royal behaviour. Here I am, on the slopes, sucking up all of the attention away from the people that should be getting it. Look, here I am, out dining. Here I am, out lunching. Here I am, getting in a car. Here I am, getting out of a car. Here I am crossing the street. Here I am doing some cooking. 
Here I am being kind about animals and a man who died. I'm just like the royals, you know. Let me back in. It's entirely transparent, and you have to say that she certainly is giving it a good go to try and change the mind of the world in relation to what she is. But is it working? That, of course, is the $64 million question. Going below the line, the fool on the hill, queen of the virtue signal, does some virtue signaling. So much yawn. Moon Bunny, let me guess she made a dumpling and it was uplifting and empowering. It made an impact. Safrizal, she is disingenuous. Kitty Cat, why does one get the impression that everything she does is for self-promotion and content? Earth Mother succinctly answers, because it is. NB Para, so fake. ZP, pretending to be a royal again. Annie, so she is back to being a humanitarian again. Lucy, the actress is acting. What else is new? Grand Marisa, why don't you go and take some dumplings to your sick father? Maybe bring his grandchildren along too. Northumbrian lad, marry a dumpling, make a dumpling. How exciting. Rice and beans. Oh, that's a nice thing to do. Perhaps she can build some cabins in her grounds and offer them a place to live. Jack Nicholson. Always putting on a performance for the cameras. Norfolk Glass. Acting like royalty yet is not and never will be. I'm all for her doing good, but with her, it just seems tacky. Huckle Cat. How insulting to Afghan women. She is such a user of people. Somerset M. She can't even smile with sincerity. The most loathsome female alive today. Most cannot stand her. Well, there she is, making dumplings with her photographers and PR team, and the Afghan women refugees are there simply to make her look good. As a narcissist, as you know, she doesn't give a rat's ass about the plight of those women. They're simply there to be utilised as part of her attempted rehabilitation. But the dumplings of virtue, whilst they may well have made an impact, they're certainly not having the intended effect, judging by all of those comments. The ship has sailed. It's far too late for her to try and turn matters around but she desperately seeks to cling on and remain relevant. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.